Hello YouTube, hello everyone, hello the world. Uh, welcome to this other video, Speed Labs, where I'm going to be ranting about uh, what I have been uh, doing in the next video. Uh, so this is the shorter condensed version of the entire lengthy video that I did. Um, I hope that this video is quality is going to be good. I noticed the previous recording, uh, the sound quality wasn't exactly uh, good, but such things I can only find out after I'm done recording. So I'm going to start playing um, and see what I can uh, comment on as we go along. <clears throat> um, so basically uh, following up a little bit of uh, more fine tuning uh, when it comes to the, 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 the walls. Uh, so the bathroom walls, I didn't have all the bathroom walls in. And here I'm verifying the height of the wall uh, to see how far it is from the roof. So I noticed that it's basically touching the roof entirely. That's what I'm adjusting here. Um, too much. <laughs> and so uh, immediately I'm going to I noticed that I had not yet uh, placed the walls uh, for the the other bathrooms, the two bathrooms as well. Uh, for some reason, I was having a strange behavior here with my door. Uh, so I used to add the door into the wall for it to plug in, but now I have to subtract it. Uh, I'm not very sure uh, what hap what the change is for, but well just a little uh, detail to notice not anything alarming so now I'm done uh, fine-tuning the, the walls of the bathroom um, <laughs> and then I thought oh, well, why not have a little refrigerator as well just to Add in a little bit of uh, decor, furniture, more furnitures. Why not? So I decided to model the basic shape of the refrigerator. And then I wasn't sure exactly what's going on in the middle there. The planet seems to be suggesting that there's some kind of um, countertop that goes all along all around but I decided to verify what some of the pictures were saying and so it seems that you know you can leave it like that <clears throat> I like it like that it's very lightweight but then again it's optional anyone can do what they will So obviously the computer is freezing up a little bit here for some reason. Uh, so I'm noticing that my tree is starting to get a little bit too lengthy, you know, it takes a lot of scrolling up and down and scrolling down up. Uh, it's getting a bit tedious to be browsing and searching around for the things you've been doing. So now I decided to do the stairs and the stairs are very interesting you know there's a variety of ways that you can handle them but I decided to just follow the, uh, what's currently available uh, you know uh, whenever the time comes you can tweak it however you want it So in this example, what I was doing is that I modeled that on top of the uh, other, uh, it had a strange behavior here. Uh, you can kind of look at it in a lengthy version. I'm not exactly sure how to explain what happened there. But I was modeling that on the 2D uh, AutoCAD and I decided to rotate that around and, <coughs> and place the model 
but then I figured um, because in this video actually this video has crashed on me and I was I was not able to save the free card file so since I was not able to do the free the save the free card file I had to redo it so you'd see that I'm I actually had to redo this stairs twice so I, I think that in the second example I actually grabbed the DWG and rotated that into position and actually model on top of it from there directly uh, instead of using uh, this mode where I model that uh, in plan mode first and then uh, place the drawing where I want to um, so and you're gonna notice here that the drawings are not exactly perfectly aligned there's maybe uh, two to three centimeter uh, millimeter of uh, uh, misalignment um, so it takes a little bit of thinking to sort of guess where the error can be and also know whether or not you can adjust it uh, because you have to trust your drawing as well uh, I trusted what I've been modeling so far uh, so because I've been very diligent about um, making sure there weren't any mistakes so you're gonna notice that this didn't align as well so I had to find a way to fix it right here you know again uh, some notes tell you something else and others tell you something else so and then uh, of course the, st the stair railing does not extend all the way uh, on the corrugated panel this is another thing that I was gonna cross check right here um, as you can see uh, in some of the pictures uh, but for now I'm gonna leave it like that until I have thought of a better uh, because these are areas where you can actually improvise there's many configuration of stairs that you can create but for now I was just going with what the DWG suggested but whenever I, you know if there's ever a need you can change that and uh, give it a kind of stair railing that matches uh, you know that prevents it from hitting the corrugated panel but from what I've also noticed in the picture it seems that the people who've been building there also don't but don't possibly put the corrugated panel on so I'm not exactly sure what the whole deal is with that you know because the corrugated panel is supposed to drive the water away and protect this, the concrete uh, CMU from uh, absorbing the water and making the, the wall humid and moist uh, so not exactly sure what the experience is like for uh, those people who build the houses and uh, they probably don't have a lot of precipitation over there who knows that's probably what explains why they can get away with uh, building the way they do i suppose So sometimes, you know, I have a fancy way of finding ways to measure and position uh, the steps. And so the 2Ds, the 2D line are not exactly clear, clear what's going on here. You know, you only see two lines. Does that mean that the two steps are not touching each other or what's going on? So, you know, I had to figure it out a little bit and make sense of what stairs usually are supposed to look like to understand that you know it's probably showing a projection so one of the lines is supposed to be a dashed line showing that it's underneath the other one uh, well that's my uh, uh, best I guesstimation I, if, you, if that word exists So one of the steps is beneath the other one. So here, I'm trying to place those things and I'm not realizing now that all this stuff is annoying and bugging me. So I changed the view and hide if and heat a few objects and uh, now it was easy to place the remaining steps and now I uh, put the whole thing into a compound and create a stair compound 
and voila so now I can just uh, clone the stair compound and easily modify and add things inside the compound whenever I want to so this is why I like the compound you know it's very practical it's like the folder it's like it is the same thing as a folder uh, I have a feeling that this is where the, uh, it crashed all right so here it's actually uh, eating up all my RAM including all the swap memory and this is the thing I like about Linux is that it allows you to create a swap memory so basically I brought it back um, I closed the thing after waiting I closed the thing uh, and so obviously I had lost some work but that is the end of this video I'm gonna continue into the next one where I had to actually redo the whole thing so I guess I'll see you into the next video